Ed Roberts, an ex-Air Force officer from Georgia, was a critical piece of the puzzle towards the personal computer. Like most of those interested in computers, he started working with technology because he wanted a personal computer to work with himself. Like Dan Pink talks about in The Surprising Truth About What Motivates Us, Roberts did what he did because he enjoyed it. It was fun. Much like someone might play the guitar in their free time and become better at it because it is fun and makes them want to practice. Roberts created the Altair, which at the time was seen as an amazing machine, but in reality it didn't do much and oftentimes didn't work. It wasn't even a computer. It was just a kit and you had to make the computer yourself. Pretty historic junk, but the question is, what do you do with it? I mean, it, it has a front panel with switches that you can click back and forth and some lights, but in the back, there's no place to connect a keyboard, there's no place to connect a monitor, there's no place to connect a printer. In fact, there's practically nothing at all that you can really do with this thing. But back then, 1975, the people who had it were thrilled. Eventually, the Altair did more because of the addition of Paul Allen's software. Steven Johnson talks about this in his video, Where Do Good Ideas Come From?, where he says big ideas don't just pop out of nowhere, they take time, and often they require a combination with other people's ideas. Paul Allen was one of the founders of Microsoft. Roberts bought, quote, BASIC from Paul Allen, which was the most simple computer software and the only software small enough to work with the Altair.